So now that we've figured out how we can do unit testing in Chai, we're now going to look at how we can implement Chai testing into our Express apps or our APIs. And what I've done here is, as an example, I've set up a very simple Express app. I'll, as you can see in package.json, all we have installed is this Express right here. And in this server.js, I've required Express and I've created a new Express app called App. I've uh, told it to listen on port 3000 and I set up a basic route uh, for the slash hello get and it just sends back the text hello world. So if I just start up uh, this server right here, so if I do node server.js um, and we go to localhost 3000 slash hello, we can see that we have this hello world string returned right here. And what I've also done is I've opened the developer tools in Chrome and that's in more tools, developer tools. And I've just clicked this network tab right here. And this lets us see the uh, status of our HTTP uh, requests. So that's always useful. Um, so what we need to do testing is firstly, we're going to need, I'm just gonna close down the server for now. Uh, we need try to be installed. So I'm just gonna do npm install try here. And I'll wait for that to install. Uh, try by itself is not enough to do um, testing for Express apps. So we also need this thing, thing called uh, try HTTP. And that's another NPM module that we also need to install. And this is a plugin for try that gives it access to some new methods. So once try is installed, we also need to install um, try HTTP. And I'll wait for that to run as well. Um, I'm going to be doing all the tests in a new file and I'm just going to call this try-tests.js. Oops. Um, I'm just going to rename this to try-tests.js. And um, inside this, I'm not sure what this is, uh, what we need to do is we need to have access to this app right here. And right now this app is only available in server.js. So what we need to do is um, make it available to be required. So all you do here is just do module.exports equals app right here. And then in try test.js, we can just say let app equals, and then we can use the require statement and give a local file path like this, and then point it to the server. And it'll pick up this app from the server. So I'm just going to check that we have it. So I'm just going to do node server.js. And inside this, I'm just going to have a look to make sure that we have the app. So if I run this now, oops, not that one. Um, node uh, try-test.js. And we can see that we have access to our app right here. So we have the app ready to go as well. So the next thing to do is, if we look at package.json, we can see that both chai and chai HTTP have been installed. So we need to also import them. So we can say let chai equals require. And remember for anything in the node modules folder, uh, you can just use the name of the package here. So this is just chai. And we can also say let uh, chai HTTP equals require. And then chai HTTP. And finally, what we have to do is we have to tell Chai that this HTTP um, plugin is available to use. And the way you do that is if you look at the Chai HTTP docs, we have to call the use method on Chai and then give it the name of the package that contains our plugin. So we have to say Chai.use and then put Chai-HTTP here. So now we have a Chai and Chai HTTP use ready to use and try now has access to all the HTTP methods. So what we need to do now here is we want to um, send a get request to the app to the slash hello and then we can uh, test some various things about the response. So we can test that the text in the response says hello world and we can also test that the status of the response is um, HTTP 200, which means it was okay. The reason it comes up as 304 right now is because it's using a cache to response. But if I give, if I right click and click empty cache and reload, um, it should come up with hello next time we run it. So what we need to do is call a method on chai, which HTTP provides, and the method is called a request. So we'll say chai.request. And this allows us to send uh, HTTP requests into Express apps. And 
as the, as the argument to this, you give it the app that we want to use. So we'll give it this app, express app that we imported from here. So what this will do is try will basically um, start up the server for us. So we don't need to start the server and we can send requests to it. So then we want to send a get request and to do that we call the get method and the root that we want to send a get request for is slash hello. So once again what this does is try will start up this express app right here and it will send a get request to the root slash hello. Then we'll call the dot end method and the dot end method what you can do is you can give it a callback function to run once we have once this is completed and this callback function will have an error if there was an error with this request and if it was successful it will also take in a response and once again if there was an error we want to just log the error um, so we can understand what happened and if we put else here so this means there wasn't an error we have the response to work with so this has been this get request to hello has been completed and we have a response to work with and what we can now do is start testing the various fields of the response to test that they're exactly what we want. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say try.assert.equals. So we can call the equal method. And as the actual value, we can test the status code. So we can say response.status. And we want this status code to be um, 200, which means it was OK or the get was successful. So we want to check that this is 200. And if there was an if this fails for some reason, we can say that a response was not okay as the error message. We can also check that the uh, text field of the response, which should have been set here to this uh, hello world, exists. So we can say try dot assert, and once again we can use equal here, and we can say response dot text, and we can check if that's equal to this hello world right here. So if I copy that. Um, and paste it into here we can check that and here we can say something like for the error message response did not have the right text um, finally we have to give so what I can say is if remember that if either of these tests fail they will throw an error and it will stop execution there so if this is passed we'll move on to the next line and we can say something like console.log all tests have passed um, and you can also put a smiley face or something and then we want to make sure we just put return here Otherwise, this will be stuck infinitely just waiting for something else to happen here So we want to make sure we return from this um, So if I do a uh, node Try-tests.js And I press enter Hang on So uh, what I have to do here is just give the try HTTP in this form right here so don't give the package name, um, give it as the variable name right here. If we run this now, we can see that all the tests have passed and we have a smiley face. And um, if I were to start up the server here, so if I do node um, server.js and I refresh this, we can see that we have a status of 200 and the text here is hello world. So that's what try tested and it got that as successful. And what I'm gonna do now is if I change this uh, status code to something like 201, which is uh, not what we want, oops, and I run the um, try test.js, we can see that it throws an assertion error and it expected this um, 200 to be a 201. So this is how we can use try to test if our um, our API or our express app routes are working correctly and giving the correct response. And I think this is how a free code camp tests our um, API microservices projects as well. So if we look at the challenge now, um, in functional uh, test.js, that's where we are now. We have try here and we have try HTTP and we've they've told try to use um, try HTTP. They've got server here, which is the name of our app as well. And if we scroll down to here, so we're at the ready to have a try now for this challenge. Um, we can see that they've called a request with the express app, which is called server. They sent a get root slash hello. And what they're doing is checking if the status is 200 and if the text is hello guest. So in here, if we go to slash hello, um, 
we can see that the status should be 200 and the text here should be hello guest, so which is what they're testing for. And instead of try assert.fail here, we just need to use assert.equal. And all this does is it checks if the response status and response text are these. So if we just make those changes um, and then we click share and then live app, then copy and submit it, uh, we can see that all of these tests passes. So again, what they've done is they've used try HTTP here. They sent a, they've started up the service, sent a get root to slash hello, and then it checks if the status field of the response is equal to 200, and if the text field of the response is equal to hello guest. And if you just change these fails to equal, we should see that these tests have passed, and then you can go ahead and submit it.